Test one, two, check. One, two, one, two. Six, seven fifty five. Seven twenty five, seven twenty four.
I need to work on that. It's still bugging out and wants to start checking volume here. Okay, I think that's okay. See if I can turn that up just a bit here. Uh, get off of that. I pushed pause. I need to figure out how to adjust my. Uh, I'm trying to think what I want to say. Adjust my mouse. It is super touchy sometimes, and uh, I click single time, and boom, it goes multi times. So. All right, I'll do a couple of things this morning. Uh, if you can see, here is my Bible in a year plan. And I'll come back to that, I think. Let me see what I want over here. Uh, let's not do it that way. know if I have this set for audio to come through or not. Testing that works. Um, let's see. November 30. Uh, I don't have anything from current. Okay, where is it? That's what I want to start with. I think that's the one. So look there. Okay. What did I have over here? Put that there. So I had that. Oh, yeah. And then I had this. Okay, let me see if I can find that. Okay, there's more clips there. This one, the 49th container. Right now, oh, it's on the back. Yeah, here it is. Uh, Venice Away Love Bible Distribution. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to scan through that. So we'll start here, I think. I like that. Can we do this? That's not what I wanted to do. Come on. Come on, mouse. Stretch. There we go.
All right, not sure. So I'm gonna be trying to make some clips that I can use today. And we'll see how that all works. Just a minute, let me hang on here. Too many things. Oh, yeah, 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 that's not the one I want. That's the one I want. Okay. I no longer need that. I don't want big. Come on. Don't do that to me. Didn't want that one anyway. Try to clip off. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, there we go. Okay, slide that over. Okay. Where are we at? Okay, so good to go now, I think. Hey, how we doing this morning, everybody? Good to see you all here. Welcome in. Uh, I'm just gonna be working on making a few clips. I have yet to figure out exactly how I can make clips and save them here on my Twitch page. So I'm just gonna create some clips using Twitch, save them on my YouTube, and then play them as I need them on YouTube. So welcome in today. Uh, I've got on the screen here what I'm planning on moving towards in the new year. Yes, I changed my mic again. Is the volume not good on there, Alice? Trying to run off of my earbuds, and uh, that I'm, it's hard to run it and test it at the same time. So that's one reason I was trying to make clips. I'm going to go back and view them later. I was hoping that that would work out better. It is really weird for me, though, having earbuds in. Volume is good? Okay, good. Uh, I'm hoping to try to cut down on any excess noise that's happening. I feel like I'm talking really loud because I can hear the echo in my ear. It's okay if I turn it up to 600. Okay. I don't usually go to 600. I usually go to 11, if you know that joke. But I'm just going to be making a few clips here today. What I got on the screen is my plan for next year. Uh, if you've ever looked at trying to do Bible in a year, most people start out and they think, oh, well, I'll just start at Genesis and read from beginning to end. And they get into Exodus or maybe Leviticus and then they go, yeah, that's enough of that and they have a hard time sticking with it. So this plan here is a different type of plan in which you pick a different day of the week and you read a different type of literature. Oh, it just sounds a little different? Not, okay. Yeah, I, it's a different kind of device. That I think it picks up off of uh, your ear bone or something like that with the, the, the buds. That might be what it is. Um, so you pick a day of the week. So the reason I put Saturday first is because January 1st is on a Saturday. So if I plan to start on January 1st, that's a Saturday. So that's why I started the week here with January or with Saturday. So so you'd read Psalms in on Saturday. So read Psalm 1 and 2. It doesn't take a lot of time. That's also why I put Psalms on Saturday. 
doesn't take a lot of time to get a couple of psalms in if you're busy and have other things to do. So you can see it goes all the way through 52 weeks of the year. Uh, Sunday Gospel. I just think that's a good plan to read from the Gospel on Sunday. And of course, well, I say of course, Acts is also included in uh, the Gospel. Um, Monday would be the Law. And if you're not familiar with uh, you know what, this is prophecy. I want to change that to say prophets. I copied this from someone else. Um, so the law, um, or it's called the Torah. Uh, so that's the first five books. So you start there. You don't get to Leviticus here till halfway through the year. Um, I like Leviticus, personally. It's uh, one of my favorites, but it's not one I think I've preached on more than twice, so... Yeah, there's a part of which I would like to, to give myself Sunday off, but if I'm trying, I, so I, what I might do is on some of these pre-record the day and push play, but I also am intending to create all of these to uh, put on my uh, YouTube channel so that they're there and people can go there and watch them uh, and also put them on my uh, Facebook page. So. It's not necessarily that you couldn't go do these on your own or listen to someone else. Uh, yes, I do have a link. Thanks you for asking. I'll put the I'll copy and paste that. So yeah, there is uh, the link so you can uh, view this. Um, and have it. And then as I go along, I'm going to highlight so I can hopefully keep track of things. And Tuesday is hist or history. So you got Joshua, uh, get Kings Chronicles, Ezra Nehemiah in there. Uh, Wednesday is epistle. So that's all the rest of the New Testament. That's not the gospel. So uh, you have poetry. So Job, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon. You could put Psalms in there. So if I wanted to, I'd have to take and, if I wanted a day off a week, you could take psalms, add psalms to uh, the poetry and, and read those together. Um, and then prophets uh, on Friday. So you can see Isaiah, where you start, Jeremiah, that's half the year. Um, Lamentations, if you're not familiar with that, that's five. Um, hey, thanks for the follow. Devo 105, thank you. Um, so yeah, Lamentations, five chapters, but if you are ever feeling blue and you think nobody else feels like you, you can read some Lamentations. You'll find something in there that um, is going to be able to take and describe how you're feeling. Uh, yeah, this is actually the whole Bible. So this is a plan to be able to read through um, all of the Bible in a year. So it, it takes and divides it up into 52 weeks by seven days and goes that way. So I'm going to try to do this next year. Um, and I might miss a day or two. If I miss a day, my plan will be to do a makeup at some point. So it might be uh, do the, like I'll just say, for instance, I miss uh, Genesis 4 to 7 on a Monday. Uh, on Tuesday, I might go do Joshua 6 through 10, and then later go back and pick that one up. Oh, hang on a second. got to plug my computer in. I like running it occasionally so that the battery goes all the way dead as opposed to leaving my laptop plugged in continuously. So sorry about that. So this is my, my plan. I'm going to be doing that uh, from beginning to end and see how far we get yeah i'm gonna try to do it a whole year i've done this before i think it's a good practice i don't i don't recommend you do this every year one of the reasons i don't is sometimes when you're just focused on trying to read all of it you don't spend the time thinking about what it's talking about but one of the reasons i love this approach i guess there's a couple of reasons but one is I've found it um, immensely um, incredible to perhaps discover things. If I'm reading in the book of uh, Samuel and I'm reading in 
uh, Corinthians, I might find connections, or I might find a psalm, and then it connects with Jeremiah. So I'm just scanning around here and looking at things you might be reading together, or you're reading in the book of Acts and the book of James and maybe Ecclesiastes uh, at the same time, and you're going to pick up some things. So um, that's one of the really cool things is your brain isn't just stuck in, I'm just reading Gospels, and that's the only thing I'm focused on. Um, I know uh, Pastor Brock has uh, a daily Bible reading that he has been doing and using. That's a different uh, approach than, than I'm using here. They do several readings of different types for each day. I think that's also a profitable way to do it. So you can do it that way, I think, where you're reading different genres each day. Um, or you can do this where you're taking a different day of the week to do that and focus that way. So, so that's what I've got going on with this. So um, I may even get started before the first of the year and uh, just try a few out, see how they go, so that I uh, will be ready to go uh, as far as format and figure all that out. So I am, however, going to um, make some clips, as I had said. So I'm going to do a clip here. So when I jump into this, I will probably shy away from um, having uh, the stream chat on the screen for, for a minute um, until I make what I think will be the clip I want to make and then I'll come back and um, look at chat after I make what I think will end up being my clips. So, all right, let me just look here. Yep, I can do that there and here. I'm going to find my chat box, turn that off a second, hide that. Oh, who is 50? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to talk about that in a second. So you'll you'll get to hear that. Uh, but I just want to get my thing set up. Here we go. All right. So it is great to see all of you. I'm glad that you're checking out this video that I'm making here. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what has been going on and what I'm looking to be doing in uh, the new year. So I have been working with Resourcing Now. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, that is an organization that helps get Bibles, uh, Christian Sunday School material, tracks, things of that nature, and we help distribute it in different countries. We have primarily been focused in the Caribbean and in Central America. And we just uh, did something I thought was rather cool. This is a picture of our 50th shipping container. And so um, you can see finishing loading the last box going in. There's our, our shipping container. And uh, it is, let me click back off here. Uh, it is or is on its way. It should be possibly there and clearing customs, the Dominican Republic. So it's the 50th container that we've done with uh, materials that are being distributed. Uh, and this is often a lot of material that publishers would be throwing away. So they print it in the U.S., they try to sell it to churches. When they're done with it, it's outdated uh, material, so they throw it away. Um, or it's things, for instance, I've collected Bibles and books myself, and some of you might know that, and they get on containers like this. This is Spanish literature uh, that we have been doing primarily. This is our 50th container. Here's... Uh, the previous one in November that was getting unloaded. You can see the people unloading it. Um, let's see, does this say where it is? Oh, wait, this one's in Guatemala. Um, so yeah, they're unloading it there, uh, emptying it out. It ends up, depending on country we're in, we stack them up. These, I could probably read that if I zoomed in close and tell you what it is. Um, it says Word of God. Um, so we, we also have been purchasing Bibles because we that's the number one request that people have is for Bibles. So here's another group of people. Um, this is the container before it left for Guatemala, the people that packed it, and here it is arriving in Guatemala, and they're unloading it. This is just off of the Facebook page if you're wondering and want to go look at these later. So that's just 
resourcing out. So you've got guys unloading it, stacking it up, um, more containers. But here's some other, some other things I want to show you. Here's the face of someone who just got their first Bible. I don't know how long they've been attending the church that they're going to. You can see we, we've got a whole stack of Bibles there, a couple of other individuals. Uh, but just the look on their faces, and then here's uh, people uh, either from a little a church or their missionaries who are getting Christian literature to be able to distribute. Uh, oh, I won't go into that part yet. So that's what has been going on. And so we've primarily done Spanish literature up to this point. However, we are going to be expanding the English literature that we do. We've got uh, um, Belize that we've gone to. Um, I've been there myself, helped with the distrib distribution. Uh, we've got uh, Dominican Republic that we have a container that just went there. We weren't able to go, or sorry, not Dominican, um, Jamaica. Um, we weren't able to go because of COVID restrictions there, but we're looking to go into Liberia in uh, February. The container is very close to being ready to ship and I'm hoping to go along and start. We've not shipped to Liberia ever. So that's a new continent. That's a new venture. It's English literature and I'm hoping to be able to help distribute English literature there. So that's what I'm looking to do in the new year. If you um, are interested in helping me be able to do that, uh, you could help uh, support resourcing now. Uh, you can go to their website, send them information, um, send money to them. Uh, I'll put that info in links uh, attached to this video. Uh, I'm not going to go through all that, but there's there's ways you can do that. Just put Liberia um, on on the info, and uh, they'll know that that's for that trip. Uh, otherwise, you could I'll go down here, um, buy coffee. We have started because of our relationships with many of these growers in Guatemala, we've started bringing back coffee and selling it. So that's uh, Full Circle Beans. Uh, you can go there. We don't have the website set up yet for them, uh, but there's info on that. And maybe I'll make another video about the, the Full Circle Beans another time. But if you want to buy great coffee straight from the growers, we roast it either there and bring it here or we roast it in Iowa and then it's uh, ready for distribution elsewhere. But Great coffee if you're a coffee drinker. Um, and then on addition, in addition to that, all of the profits from the coffee go to being able to ship resources. And there's a guarantee that at least one Bible will be purchased with every bag of coffee uh, that you buy from Full Circle Beans. Um, if you're watching me on Twitch or, or you're in another country, I don't think we yet have figured out being able to ship outside the United States. Sorry about that. We might figure that out down the road. We're just trying to get this coffee thing up and running. We've joked around about we should bring coffee back and sell it for oh, maybe five, ten years. And uh, we finally said, well, let's go ahead and try it and see if that's a, a benefit. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm up to. Thanks for tuning in. If you stayed to the end of this video, I appreciate it. And uh, you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Okay, let me get the uh, chat turned back on here. Um, hmm. That's weird. It's not showing up there. Maybe I had to type something new. No, why is it not showing? Well, I can see it, um, so let me try to figure this out. Nope, that's not what I want. Okay, chat is... not coming through for some reason. Let me stretch it or shrink it, maybe that'll... No, what? Mm -hmm. I do not know why it is not showing. All right, that's fun.
Okay, let me see. Where did I leave off with chat? Da, da, da. Oh, now it's showing. Okay, so it has, there they go. Things are populating now. Oh, okay, you were talking about 54 there. Yeah, the top two, because that's, that's how many uh, weeks is uh, the 54. Uh, I'll go back to that. Um, if you see column one or row one has the day, row two has this. So if you started at three and you went to 54, that's how many weeks. And so each column is a day of the week. So it's 52 weeks in a year. So I'm going back. You probably don't see it on your screen. Um, yeah, week 54. Um, Oh, okay, you're asking a question about, yeah, it's a good question. How does it become outdated? There are uh, publishers that when they go to publish Sunday school material, it's published uh, for quarterly use. So they'll publish it to use uh, specifically with specific Sundays and dates on there. So, yeah, you could reuse it. Um, from that sense, um, but they're little tiny booklets uh, that you would take apart and distribute to people in your class, depending on what age your classroom is. Um, so if you thought of like a comic book, if you've never seen it, 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 a thin book like that, you rip out the inside, that's your first lesson, you rip out the next inside, that's your second lesson. So you, they're designed to tear apart uh, the booklets as you go forward and they're published for specific dates throughout the year and you subscribe to it you tell them I've got five uh, people in this Sunday school class at this age I need five books or I need ten books of this other class or I need twelve of another class you distribute them everyone in the class has their own copy they tear them apart as they go well if that's how you're using the material you do different lessons each year. It's not designed that you're going to do the same lesson year in and year out. So if you don't have it this year, they're not going to sell last year's material. They, they don't do that. So we're able to get the material for free with the uh, caveat it has to leave the United States because we can't give away free material that competes with their selling. So so that's how it's outdated. I know that's kind of a funny thought. It, it it's not outdated in the sense of it's not useful or it's not valuable. It's just outdated in the sense of if you're on a subscription to getting uh, those things put together, uh, it wouldn't match or align with anything. But when we get a bunch of them and send them to places that have nothing, uh, they don't care. Um, so, yeah, it could absolutely be used again. Um... That's cool. We have such easy access. We're not as joyful. Yeah, I know. We're we're not as joyful as we should be. Okay, thanks for stopping in, Alice. Glad to see you. Okay, I'm reading ukulele. Uh, it might be that the publisher's agreement ran out. I'm not going to read all that. I kind of, yeah. So it gets, it, otherwise this stuff would get thrown out or or potentially recycled would be the, the thing. Oh, maybe books are like old fashioned. Um, no, some of the, we do get some books uh, as well, but it's more specifically that, that Sunday school material would be thrown out. They, they wouldn't want it um, out there. You wouldn't donate it to, unless it's leaving. Um, Oh, okay, yeah, uh, let me find a, a link here you're asking about. Well, let me go to pull up the website for resourcing now. So, um, and I need to update the website. I haven't worked on the website. It's, it's, um, let me see.
this is, this is going to have to get expanded where we were because we're we've been going to Panama as well. That's not on here. Jamaica, that's not on here. Um, so we need to get that. But there are some some videos here. But really, the Facebook page is also a better spot to look. But there's some videos on there. Um, you can go to donate on there. Um, and that ends up, I believe you can do it by credit card or by PayPal or should be somewhere. Oh, my wife's bringing me tea. So I don't know if you saw her sneak in or not. Uh, there's the, the address. Uh, oh, you know what? Is it there? No, you're not seeing it. It's too far down the screen. But if you go to the page here, it's at the bottom. I've uh, cut off to not show the whole screen there, just as I'm using the other side there. So, yeah, I've been working with resource, yeah, hashtag, or uh, <laughs> exclamation point wife. Yeah, I, I'm surprised she snuck in and, and brought me that. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you said bye earlier, but you're saying bye again. Okay. Thanks, Alice. I appreciate you coming in and uh, supporting. So, yeah, I, I, like I said, I'm trying to make these not to necessarily put on my Twitch page and have there. So, some of this is just trying to find a way to create these so I can share them with people. Um, but, uh, yeah, that, that info's there. So, yeah, resourcing now. Um, the individual you may have seen in some of the clips there, uh, oh, saying bye was a joke. I'm sorry. I didn't get that. You're not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> I, I missed the joke. I'm sorry. Uh, so let me find here. Or resourcing now is, uh, also on Facebook here as well. You can just see it. It's resourcing now right there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's Dina. She, that is TJ's wife. She's taken over for full, start doing our full circle beans. That's what we call, uh, and TJ right there, uh, TJ and Dina were missionaries in Guatemala for a while, um, working with a school there. And the interesting thing about it was that when they were touring the school, um, to decide if they were going to move there and they moved their whole family. They were there, I don't know, three to five years. I'm not sure how long they were there. Um, and then they came back to, to Iowa, but they, they moved there. And when they were touring the school, they're, they're looking up in the mountains. There's volcanic mountains all around, uh, Guatemala. They're looking up and, and just thinking, you know, God, if I ever got a chance to do something right there, that, that, that would be where, I, I, I think maybe I could do some ministry. So, so that's what was the foster that ended up being this. So on their days off, they just started traveling around trying to find and, and work over to that. And I would have to scroll a long way down to probably find a picture um, over there. Um, I'll just sl scroll slower so you can see uh, while I'm looking. Uh, yeah, there's TJ. Uh, but he, he started traveling over there, met a pastor over there, started talking with him, um, figuring out some things and finding out what they did, what they didn't have, what they, what they needed. And we ended up, or he ended up coming back to the U.S. Um, and then just saying, I need to still do ministry there. So what can I do? So. He, he started resourcing now. I came on board mm, a couple of years after that piece got started. I started working with him first, and then he invited me on the board. So uh, we bought a, a piece of property there as a storage facility to ship in and store things. Uh, we store it there. The church helps distribute uh, and control. I love this. Get your packages delivered. Um, and sometimes they'll, they'll be in a plastic bag like that and you can see it's wrapped. So that would be, um, some of the material that is 
uh, brought in, so that Sunday school material. So each one of those, there's probably, oh, it looks like maybe about eight to ten in that packet of uh, here's your quarterly Sunday school material and all the teacher lessons and all the posters to hang on the wall kind of thing. And um, yeah, so anyway, uh, Poston, or he came back, got a heart for that started saying, what can we do? And like a lot of things, it starts out with, well, let's collect money and let's do Bibles. And along the way, uh, this might have been setting up for a missionary conference or a church conference. So what we're able to do at times um, is uh, we know that a denomination or a missionary is putting a conference on. We go in and we set up. So this is set up so that a church comes in and grabs a stack of them. Uh, and they, where we find out how many do you need, how big is your church, and then everybody will get a stack of material to be able to take and bring. And so you can see here, these, these are likely some pastors, and they're all getting Bibles. Uh, that's always really cool. Bibles is number one request. So we, we started going straight to Tyndale uh, and buying Bibles, having them print Bibles for us, uh, so that we can get more Bibles. So that's kind of what that's been all about. So we don't care what denomination you are. Um, if you want and need stuff and we're able to get it to you, that's great. One of the odd things from my perspective is that if you give somebody a book or, um, or Sunday school material in like the ESV economy Bible. I don't know what economy means. <laughs> uh, but I was saying is if you give somebody a book or a Bible in uh, Guatemala, they won't share it. They, they want to hoard anything because they just don't have resources. So to them, it's precious and they don't want to get rid of anything. So they'll, they'll hang on to it. We've, we've noticed some countries are that way. Others uh, aren't. So it, if you were to, for instance, give a church that ha needed... 10 copies of something because they have a 10 person Sunday school, but you gave them a hundred and said, Oh, we'll share it with other churches. They would keep all 100 copies. They would be very hard pressed to share it with anybody else. Not because they don't want to share. It's just this idea of holding on to things. So we, we, uh, kind of screen that in some places. I love this lady. Just super excited about getting uh, a Bible or resources. She stops and puts everything else down that she had. So, um, yeah, we often get stuff in banana boxes, if you're wondering. Those aren't bananas. Those are probably tracks that get, get passed out, and they're various different languages. Here we are loading them up, taking them out, and they're just tons of, you know, it's like it's repetitive because we've done 50 containers. Um, so... I can show you a video or two. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at the used use on that Bible. It's definitely been used. Um. Okay. Let me see. It. No, I did not want you out, Alice. I was reading your goodbye and thinking that you had left. Um. Yeah, that's really sweet. Their hearts were. Yeah, yeah. Um. It is, it is. And the thing is, is we continue to, well, I should say we, TJ continues to say, uh, well, what if we do this? So there was a, a Christian bookstore that was closing and he said, well, we should go and uh, get uh, material from there. We should start buying the Bibles out of there. So so we did. And then he was like, oh, we they're, they're selling books a whole bunch cheaper. We could get more books. Uh, so we did. We, he thought at first maybe we could sell some of the Christian books on eBay and make money and put it back in. And what we ended up doing is just shipping all of those books um, to places that could use them. Uh, here was a trip. They, the one local church there in Iowa goes down to Roatan, Honduras, and they do a basketball camp there. So they've helped work on that and do building projects there. They go down, they train, uh, or train, do camps on how to play basketball. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I've not been on that. I've, it's not worked out for me to do that. Um, that doesn't look like a good thing. Looks like we had problems with the trailer there. 
So TJ's been doing this for, I don't know, 10 plus years since he started it. And he's been a really only person on the ground. I've gone on probably five trips, eh, probably five max. Uh, Guatemala several times and uh, Belize as well. And uh, so I'm trying to start doing English literature distribution. So he's going to keep focused on our Spanish literature and keep building that up. But he can't do more than he's doing. So we need someone else to do more. And that's that's my plan. So we'll see if that all comes. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We Yeah, Cuba needs to get added there. We have started going into Cuba. Cuba's been a little bit different. Uh because we can't really show up with a bunch of stuff and ship it to Cuba. It's kind of like you bring in what you can bring in on um, in your luggage. And so we had someone that donated money to purchase a bunch of iPads or something like that. I don't know if they were Apple, but whatever brand of um, just little touch pads. And uh, brought those in. And they're all linked and synced together. So if we purchase um, any kind of material, and those were given out to a seminary there to uh, students who are training to be pastors. So we can still, if we go purchase uh, a commentary or some other Christian material, we can share it. It'll link to every single one of those devices and every pastor will have access to it. So that's a, a cool thing that we we did there, but that was somewhat because of government regulations and trying to figure out how to get into Cuba and bring stuff to people. Uh, but we found out trying to bring them in, we couldn't bring them all at once. They're like, what do you mean you've got a dozen of these for personal use? That doesn't make sense to us. So I think he could only take a couple in, um, and then he had to, we ended up having to take a couple of trips to, to get them all into people. So... So, yeah, I could probably keep scrolling, and it's just going to be a lot more of the same. Yeah, there's Belize. Must have been a trip of, uh, oh, that's right. There's often uh, a college uh, trip to Belize that uh, goes and helps do some distribution in the uh, beginning of the year. So, all kinds of fun stuff. So. Yeah, so I wanted to make that clip. That was one thing I wanted to do. I'm trying to think what was some of the other clips I was thinking to make today. Um, I probably could make a promo for this. Uh, Bible in a year. Let me see if I can find a good cover for that. Let's find an image. I don't want the one-year Bible. Let's just kind of read beginning to end. No, so it says in Maple Chapel. Da, da, da. Eh, maybe there's one up here. I could have go back to that. Yeah, that that one might work. No, that's not exactly what I want. I just want the image. Nope. It's opening other stuff. Um, hold on, how do I... Just want to blow it up on the screen. Nope, that didn't do it either. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, if you want to make me one, yeah, I was just thinking to just put on the screen here to start the video, that's all I was thinking, so, um, well, cool, yeah, you can copy that, yeah, I have, you can find other people that have, have done that, there's, there's nothing special about it, but I do, I will, I, I've had this before, I know I've copied other people's. I know somewhere in there there's an error, and I don't remember where it is, so I don't know if I, 
if I that copy I have right there is correct or not. But as I'm going through it, I'll make sure that it is correct. If there are any errors, I'll correct them as I go. So, uh, yeah, what size? I don't know. I was just looking for what fits on the screen here for it. Canva? I, I don't know what Canva is. Oh, online design. Okay. Uh -huh. I, yeah, I've often used uh, Publisher, but I've not used... Okay, I'll have to look into that. Free graphic, yeah. Sorry, I didn't wait for you to answer. I just thought I'd just, I'd just Google it. Uh, it just seemed like a weird name, so I wasn't sure it was right. Cool enough. Yeah, copyright's cleared. That's cool. Yeah, sometimes I... Depends on what I'm using it for, whether I worry about copyright or not. Yeah, the delay. I know. I was I was impatient. I'm usually pretty patient when I ask a question for an answer, but... Well, okay. I'll need to get that, I guess, set up before I if I want to put it on here and maybe I'll just add that into editing. That's probably what I'll do. I'll add the, the logo ahead of it in editing. So I'll just do, let me see. Can I do capture video? No, let's just do that. No. I was gonna say, I'll, I'll make this chat disappear, but it took forever to get it back last time, so I'm not gonna make it disappear just to do another clip, so. But I, yeah, I, I think that's what I'm gonna do a few times. If you're, I'm, yeah, This is a strange stream for me, if you haven't noticed, uh, is to, to make some clips using this because then I can utilize the, the multi things on stream that I don't have a good way to do that otherwise. So to me, that makes sense to just do them here, do them live, and then I can edit them down what I need to later. So, yeah, this whole stream, I'll cut that clip out of there. Uh, here, I'll do uh, a clip here with uh, everything going on. So, we'll go from there. So, all right, so I'm going to do <clears throat> another clip here a second. So, I'm like, going to ignore your... Yeah, thanks for, yeah, I'm glad you rated. I was too. I wasn't sure. Well, the other thing is I've been up since, I don't know, 4.30 this morning. I don't know why sometimes I just wake up so early. And other times I have a hard time getting out of bed at 9. So thanks for the love, Alice. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to make uh, another clip here. So I'm going to ignore, now that I've caught up on stream, I'm going to ignore chat for a minute. Not permanently, Alice, just, just for a moment to get my clip set. And then uh, when I think I've got that good, I'll come back and catch up with anything. And then we'll figure out if I'm doing anything else after that. So, all right. Have you ever thought about reading the Bible through in a year and you have great intentions and you get started in January, February rolls around, you're, you're doing okay. You hit March, you hit Leviticus, and that's the end. Well, then this is something you might want to check out. Whether whether you follow along with me or you do this on your own, either way, I am intending to go through the Bible in a year in this next year. And whether you join us late or you, you, you make it all the way through, don't worry about it. Um, but here's uh, the plan that we're going to be looking at. So... <clears throat> I'll, I'll share a link so that you can see this, but this is the uh, genre uh, style of going through the Bible. And so, as you can see, and I'm starting on Saturday here because January 1st is a Saturday. And so, 
We'll go Psalms on Saturday, so each Saturday. So the first day you read Psalm 1 and 2. The next Saturday, Psalm 3 and 5. The next Saturday, Psalm 6 and 8. Sunday, you read through the Gospels. Uh, Monday, read through the Old Testament law, the first five books, and on and on. So each day of the week has its own uh, way or our own, own style of reading. So history is on one day, epistles are on another day, poetry is on another day. This helps you from getting bogged down in one book that you're struggling with. You've got other books that you switch to the next day. You also have, I really enjoy that style of, of book. I really love the Gospels. You only have to wait a week and you're back in the Gospels and you can look forward to it. Uh, it also makes great connections so if you're reading in joshua and you're reading in isaiah and then you're reading in matthew and you're reading in romans you start to make connections throughout the whole bible it helps to connect the bible from beginning to end uh, and it's also laid out so that you just pick the day that you're on the week that you're on and you read a piece of it and if you get behind it's not hard to get caught up. It's not a, oh, suddenly I've got to read 20 chapters to get caught back up. Just, if you miss a day, continue the next day. If you miss a week, continue the next week. Uh, don't worry about finishing this in a year if you don't. Uh, if, you, if you're if you going to say, no, I'm going to take a little more time, then, then go slower. But I'm going to do this. Uh, can't promise you that the post will be at a particular time every day. You might be a day behind. That's okay. If you want to follow along or if you want to read yours ahead of time and view mine afterwards, that works too. If you want to just do it, and, and here's a great way to do it. So you can link on this, and uh, I'm going to, as we go along, be coloring these through and changing the color so that we know right where we are when we get to the next day. So that's where we're going to go. If you want to join us, that'd be great. You can follow on Twitch. You can follow on Facebook. You can follow on YouTube. Those will be places I'm posting that. So hope you uh, are encouraged to read God's Word. And uh, if you join us or you do it yourself, have a great time. Okay, so you sent me a whisper with the link. Okay, great. I'll look at that later because I'm going to edit all, like I said, I'll edit all these down. I'll put that as the screen to start with. And then I'll uh, click in uh, or edit in the video after that. So... I'm trying to think what I miss. Oh, I don't do links. Oh, yeah, I probably have links uh, turned off at this point. Just, you know, not sure who might put what in there. Not that any of you who are here right now I wouldn't trust, but some people had said, yeah, you never know if you get um, people coming in trolling things and then they throw stuff up. So, but I don't have any mods yet to be able to take and um, uh, check and see what those things are. So, so I'll probably change it at some point. I don't know. Oh, you're following my YouTube and Facebook now. Yeah, I don't see this. Is, I still don't. I mean, you have to go to my page. I don't think I have socials figured out how to because I know some of you can just put things in the in the chat and it will show all your social media and those things I don't know how to do that yet uh, yeah it is it is my my personal Facebook I, I thought about changing that to something else uh, not worried about it there, there's not <laughs> yeah you figure out who I am and where I am and if that's something you care about that's okay uh, uh, yeah but uh, the, the YouTube is not uh, necessarily personal uh, YouTube. It's um, just really devoted to the stream here so I can carry stuff over there. So part of that is I've had so many different accounts at times. I just started a new one. Uh, or I shouldn't say I started a new one. I had one that I didn't have a lot of content in. Uh, so if you go and see, there's, <laughs> there's a, maybe half a dozen videos um, previously, and then there'll be stuff that I've carried over. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's a hundred videos that I did for encouragement of the day on my YouTube channel. Um, 
So, do I have to be famous to not a bot? Oh, get famous, not a bot. Okay. Anyway, my YouTube has, when uh, COVID started, I, I started doing uh, on Facebook and YouTube uh, a three to five minute video of encouragement for the day. I didn't do it every day, but I did it. I try to do at least three of them a week and I put those out and so I was putting them out on the church channel and so I moved those all over onto my flat cap uh, put those in there and now I'm working on putting twitch stuff over I needed to get some stuff updated and whatnot there so okay I'm trying to think if there was any other clips I know those are the two clips I was planning to do today uh, since everybody's here, oh, that's right. We did John on Friday. What am I doing this week? I know it's weird. I do not remember what passage I picked. Um, let me see if I can figure that out. No, that's 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 the wrong worship. So Christmas Eve is what I was looking for. There we go. So rather than do this, I'm gonna do my normal Friday will be the passage for Sunday that I'm gonna do. But since you're all here, I'm just gonna go to my passage for Christmas Eve, and before I go there. Anyone have guesses on what passage I am going to do for Christmas Eve? And I'll, I'll give you this clue. It's not in Matthew, and it's not in Luke. So, but it is the Christmas story. If you look at it from a certain point of view, I'd see if you can guess. Yeah, my, my, the the rebel. Yeah, well, not only that. Uh, oh no, no. John one is what I just did Sunday. So sorry, John. That's why John's on the screen. I did that Friday. No, I did John one Sunday. Um, but good guess there, uh, Isaiah. Ooh, Isaiah would be a good guess. You could go to Isaiah and do all of the uh, the prophecies there. But no, no. I'm I'm in the New Testament. So I'm in the New Testament. And I'm going to be doing Christmas story, but not the Christmas story. Oh, well, Isaiah 9, that would be a good guess. Yeah, I know. I'm just, well, here, here's also, this potentially could be the last Sunday, or sorry, last Christmas service that the church has, because the church uh, just voted that uh, we are going to... Um, work towards closing the church now that could mean that it merges with another church so it'd be a new church so they might still but as a body together this is going to be their last um last christmas eve service together so yeah you'd think oh just go to the traditional stuff but i, I don't know i just didn't go there for some reason. So, <clears throat> no one guessed it. I didn't expect you to. I gave you <laughs> gave you some clues, but I, uh, there wasn't a good chance that someone was going to just say, "Oh yes, Galatians four. Why that's the wonderful Christmas story we find in Galatians four. So I'll just look at this and point out why uh, I'm going there. So there's there's a particular story or way that this is done and the point of it will I hope be obvious um, so so this is uh, Galatians 4 we'll begin at verse 1 4 4 mm. yep yep you figured it out Alice you're reading ahead thank you <laughs> that's it it's 4 4 uh, what I'm saying is that as long as an heir is under age, he is no different from a slave, although he owns the whole estate. 
the heir is subject to guardians and trustees until the time set by his father. So also when we were under age, we were in slavery under the elemental spiritual forces of the world. But when the set time had fully come, he sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law that we might receive adoption to sonship. Because you are his sons. God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, the spirit who calls out Abba Father. So you are no longer slaves, but God's children. And since you are his children, God has made you also his heirs. Formerly, when you did not know God, you were slaves to those who by nature are not gods, but now that you know God, or rather are known by God, how is it that you have turned back to those weak and miserable forces? Do you wish to be enslaved by them all over again? You are observing special days and months and seasons and years. I fear for you that somehow I wasted my efforts on you. Now, I could have stopped up here. Verse 4 is, is, is the first key. Uh, verse 10 um, would be the, be the next one that I'm, I'm going to focus on. So, oh, you're singing, I'm no longer a slave to fear. I'm a child of God. Oh, okay. I, don't, I think I've heard that in a song somewhere, but I couldn't put my finger on it. So, um, what I want to point out here, so, so this is a different summary, but it's, it's talking about when the set time had fully come, he sent a son born of a woman. Um, that's pointing to the Christmas story. That's pointing to the birth of Christ. That's pointing to God's, um, whole plan. And, and I love how it says, but now that you know God, or rather are known by Him. Hmm. I, I like that. But you observe special days and months and seasons and years. We can get caught up, and no doubt this was what was going on in Jesus' day, that people were caught up in the festival celebrations, in the fun of it, and not the purpose behind it. And so I want to just kind of focus on that. And that's the reason I did not want to read through. And I kind of did this with my John message too on Sunday. So, so kind of back to back kind of thing is, is why are we here? We're not here because we're excited about doing presents and we're excited about doing Christmas things. The Christmas things are all fun. Christmas cookies are great. Christmas carols are great. But the point of all of that is the son who came. Yeah. God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts. And the spirit calls out, Abba, Father. Yeah. yeah. So we... Yeah, that's, that's who we are. So I just want to do that. And then, and then I'm thinking to invite people to not read the other passages, but to just kind of share, you know, what they know. So, and there were in fields shepherds abiding, watch, keeping watch over their flock by night. I mean, we have those phrases and passages memorized. So we don't have to tell it the way that it's there. It's, we could tell the whole kind of story, little by little. So that's kind of where my thinking going and... Um, so yeah, not just, well, let's read Luke 2, which, you know, that was always family tradition for me. You read Luke 2 on Christmas Eve, and you get to open one present. Then you got to wait for Christmas morning to open the rest. So uh, that's kind of where I'm going. Hope that makes sense. Any questions that anyone has here? Now, I'm not going to break down <laughs> a lot of the rest of what's happening in here, Uh that's not entirely related to the birth, the, the whole thing. You know, it's like, well, you could, you could skip all the slavery part there. You could skip that. But it's really the why it was the set appointed time. If, if I jump over all that, you're, I think it misses things. But 
it's it's really about their living now that they know this and their living isn't about who they're living for or who has redeemed them it's about all the trappings of of things so so that's where our, that's at uh all right. Well, I don't have anything else. Um, I might pop on, like I said, uh, some other time this week or next week with just some dry run of uh, going through uh, the Bible passages. Or I might uh, make a couple just in case. Uh, well, actually, what I might, well, I'm thinking I might do. Um, I'm going to be gone. I don't know what the quality of the Internet is going to be for me to do live um stream of uh reading through the the bible so i'm thinking i might make clips of me reading through the bible that i can just push play on um and so if those are already stored on youtube and playing they might work better than live i don't know so i'm doing that as kind of a backup kind of thing so and uh figure out what what that is so Oh, Miss Jellybeans, uh, with the church closing, will you be looking or another church or job? Um, well, with the with the church, um, what well, we're using the language of uh, legacy, um, and so flat cat <laughs> pastor flat cat VR. No, I'm I'm not probably gonna do VR. That's not a not my realm. Um, but I appreciate the thought. Uh, um, I'm not sure what I'm doing. It won't be an immediate. Uh, we haven't set a date. We're going to be working through some things as far as connecting with possibly another church uh, for them to to take over uh, the building or uh, uh, you know. So some churches do do satellites, and so might be that might be a possibility. We don't know what we're going to do. So there'll be plenty of months of doing it. I'm only working with them part-time as it is. Um, and so I might continue working with them till, they're, till that ends, which could be three months. It could be six months. I don't know. Uh, but I do have a friend who's already said, yeah, I have some other churches you could work with. So that's, that's kind of what I'm doing right now is part-time with them. And as you, if you were here earlier and, and saw me talking about trying to get stuff going with the literature distribution, trying to get that going uh, as another part-time thing. So uh, I'm just part-time gigging right now is, is what I'm doing. And so that's where it's like, if I commit to doing this daily Bible thing, that'll be a cool thing for me on Twitch uh, to be able to do, I think. Um, we'll have to see how that all goes too. So um, yeah, I... I'm not entirely looking, um, but I'm not not looking, if that makes sense. So I'm not actively putting resumes out, but I'm just continuing to check things. So, yeah, churches need fill-in pastors so there's so the people don't burn out. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of pastors uh, struggling. I think I just saw recently that the mental health, um. Uh, the, the, the amount of diagnosis, di mental diagnosis in pastors is double the rate of, of people uh, in the rest of the country in the U.S. Is, is I think one of the stats I saw recently, which to me was just astounding, that it's that, uh, that bad. I mean, I'm not surprised. Um, I just didn't think it was that bad. So... Well, I don't have it here, but I will uh, either this week or next week because I was I'm trying to make some clips. Uh, so this one might take take a little bit, and um, so so what I'll, I'll so if you see this posted, it says flat cat try on. I want to have a promo video at the beginning, so I was trying to figure out, and I haven't figured it out, and I think you have to be a certain number of followers to be able to upload videos into your uh, Twitch stream. So I'm going to just store these videos over on YouTube like I have my countdown clock just over on YouTube and I sling it over. Uh, anyway, I'm going to make a video with 
all my various different flat caps. And so if you say, see a video that says flat cap try on, I'm making that clip that day. So it, it might be a boring clip if you come in, because uh, I'm not going to have the same shirt on with all of those uh, hats. So I'll have a different hat. I'll have a different shirt. I'll come in and out, flap. I don't know what I'm going to do. Flip the hat or something at the camera, some kind of weird thing. And um, so if you see that one in the next two weeks, that's what I'm doing, trying to create that. Um, so we'll go from there. So. Oh, you can make uh, YouTube vids on daily Bible readings and you would listen. Well, that's kind of what I'm going to do is try to do all of these um, over there uh, as well on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Have them lined up and see how quickly you can swap them all. That Well, that's what I'm going to try to do with the the, the clip is I, I, I'm i not on TikTok, but I've seen where, you know, people do the something comes and blocks the camera and then when it's gone, there's the next thing. So my thought is to come in, flip the hat, and then when I come back, it's the next hat kind of thing. I don't know. I'll play with it. If it works, great. If it doesn't, we'll, we'll do something. But I'm just trying to see a way to have fun so I can play a promo video rather than just a five-minute countdown clock that's boring and doesn't say anything about the channel. So that's what I'm thinking to do. So Yeah, fancy editing. Yeah, I, it won't be super fancy. It, it might be cut or fade. That will be the extent of it. So... So that's my thoughts. So, well, thank you all for being here. I'm not normally on at this time, so let me see if there's somebody around to to raid. Unless someone has a suggestion. Let's see. The lift is on. Let me see what he's doing. I only see one viewer, so he might not be up yet. And I got a commercial, so. Oh, good stream. Thanks. Thanks, Miss Jelly Beans. Yeah, it's not my, my normal thing, but, uh, you know, if I'm doing the, the daily Bible read, that might be one, and I might, well, I keep thinking this, but it just hasn't happened. It's like, oh, I might play some games on here, but frankly, since COVID hit, I really haven't, been playing games other than just a stupid game on my computer that you just log in and check your stuff and can play for a little bit and check out on your oh sorry my my phone I mean and uh, that's it now the lift has not started yet so don't want to raid before he starts anyone got a suggestion on someone to raid if not um, I can raid one reason they're always playing music over there. game stream please yeah i've just got to i gotta figure that out sometime to do because i think i need a device to to run things here yeah the lift has about two minutes so we could wait for him to start and then raid if we, we want to do that um or we just hang out here for another minute or so Okay, we'll just hang out and wait till he's live and uh, go raid him then. So, oh, Pastor Savage, eighty-five homeschool mom. I don't have either of those. Those are both on right now. Is it Pastor Savage eighty-five? I know. I think I've seen Pastor Savage before. Let me go look. Stupid thing. Pastor Savage 85. I do not know Pastor Savage. Okay. I was just making sure that was 85. You said typing issues, so. 
Let's go past your savage. He looks like, what's he playing? Warzone? I like other pastors. Let's try that. I think, uh, I think I've think i rated um, Homeschool Mom with you before, ukulele, so I know that name, but I don't know Pastor Savage, so I don't know. We'll go in that direction. Thanks for the suggestion. Yeah, I'm trying to get a few more... Um, ideas out there yeah I was guessing that well you're asking the question I was guessing that that's probably true that Christmas time music is just Christmas music probably oh yes yeah, pre-recorded okay did that not go through right that's why I did the stupid wrong Thing. Why do I do that? You'd think I was a novice or something. <laughs> if you want to raid, you've got to type raid with the right thing in front of it. Not an exclamation point. It's probably because I'm always trying to do that. Just type exclamation point something in people's streams that have nothing to do with uh, anything they have set up. So... Yeah, I'll get there. I know. I, 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 I more make fun of myself because if my kids are ever watching, because, well, I know a couple of them are on on Twitch and do streams. They just scratch their head. Dad, what are you doing on Twitch? I go, I have no idea. Pastor friend of mine told me I should do it. So <laughs> so now I'm, I'm here doing it. So, All right. Thank you all for, for dropping in. I appreciate it. If I did not see you before Christmas, have a Merry Christmas. If you celebrate anything else, Happy holidays. Uh, it is a great time of year for celebrations, for reflecting on life, and even more than that, reflecting on God who came and showed us his love. So, Merry Christmas. What is up with a rate of three? Let's go. What's up, man? How are you? How was your dream? What did you guns. I got my PBSH where I want it. Really? Licorice? Now, when I think of licorice, are we talking about red licorice or black licorice? Black licorice. 